Hey guys, welcome to another one of my videos here. We are going to be soloing a Rescue the Survivors mission. Because if you're like me, you really enjoy getting all the survivors so that you can use them to transform. You get people, and then you use them to transform into rare survivors. Oh, look at that, I got some epic ones. You can also use them for epic, of course, and legendary if you're one of those people who have those. But, uh, I'm gonna be doing rare survivors today. Um, and if you are like me, you'll notice that whenever you play with randoms, they just don't care about uh, about getting all the survivors. And it's very foolish of them because getting all the survivors will ensure you get a level 4 chest as opposed to level 3 chest, then you'll get 30% more experience across the board. Commander XP, schematic XP, XP in general, you're getting more of. You also get more people. So there's really no reason not to save all the survivors. There's more than enough time. There's, you know, Four people per match. If you just save whatever survivor you come across, you see the antennas. Doesn't really Stand matter. Stand by for an important weather alert. <laughs> so we're, we see we're fortunate enough to get one right off the bat. I think that's the storm chest behind me, even. Thank you. I was getting worried. I know luck, the uh, med kit will be over by the storm chest, but uh, there is no luck in this game. So uh... check your map for the location of the med kit. It's important to move around when you're on a ninja. I want to get uh, bogged down. Probably using my sword actually. Two tables, that's the way now. Make this time to reload. Wish I could. That'll get it done. Some good goodies. We're gonna go around this way, the opposite way of the med kit, because. That way, when I come back around, he'll still be there. I'm gonna wait for all the wave to spawn in, and I'm gonna drag and slash. I mean, if you wanted to do a noob run of this, you could just craft a uh, rock puncher here. But basic premise is you want the ninja to use your multiplier for movement speed. Uh, and then you want. Oh, this can be nice to Dragon Slash. And then you want Shuriken Master for your support. And then it doesn't really matter who you run in tactical, though I run Cloak Star for a little bit extra DPS. some siphons if you can, get some blue glow because there will be two blue glow si survivors around. You don't even need it to succeed, so there's, there's no pressure there. Check out my sword. <laughs> Start out. 
really want to try to not get slowed down. Obviously, there's slowing pools on this one, so we can't make much of a difference. But uh, as far as water enemies go, you don't want to. You don't want to be slower than you can. And you just want to go around the outside of the map. Survivor in danger. Monsters coming. Look out! Fourth under attack. If you're really under leveled for these missions, let's say you're an 82 with 100 zone, um, using a rocket launcher for these survivors is absolutely uh, recommended. That's how I got through most of mine. All you want to do is just, anytime they come close to it, just blast them back. And I mean, if, if you're an 82 in the 100 zone, um, you probably have enough obsidian, whether it be from your expeditions, what have you. You can just blast them back every time. It's not, Please help! It's not an issue. Oh, Save him up! Oh, freaking get me. Normally I'd stop and do it, but rescue the survivors, sometimes you don't really have time. Because I got the storm chest already, I don't really have time. Because this is right here, I am going to pick it up. Again, more movement speed, doesn't really hurt. I'll probably find at least one more blue glow as I go along. I don't need to run a full siphon for it. Survivor in danger. Um, I'll check the top of these cliffs just in case there are any kind of chests on top. density of survivors on this one hasn't really been significant. <laughs> I usually build my antennas a little bit more fancy, but... Whatever works, guys. Whatever works. You see the other antenna off in the distance there. Keep an eye out for those because they're easily missed. I know it's pretty surprising, but I'm also going to dive down into this cave. Get my two scanners for my quest line. I'm not complaining about the legendary survivor they're giving us. And I'm not complaining about the mythic constructor they're giving us, but um, I might very well complain about the fact that we have to do so many missions to get them all, especially people who are already entwined, would have been nice if they just kind of gave it to us. But who likes free things? I mean, it's not like we played their game for them. Since hundreds, if not thousands, of bug reports to make sure that their game is good. Oh, you guys are gonna get to see the tomato. This is something I found the other day. Yeah, you know those pesky things. Oh, that's a level five save. A level four, sorry. That looks like a husk. There are different kinds of safes as well. What? We need to find more glyphs. Ta da! You guys might recognize like this from Battle Royale. Billy? But, uh. It just looks like an angry lump to me. Close enough. First husks, now smashers? Let's keep searching. Obviously, it has a bunch of health. There's a lot of gnomes around, and these gnomes can give power cells, but I haven't really gotten too many of them from it. Yeah, it's very low chance. I don't know why they're so much lower than the actual gnomes themselves, but they are. Moving on here. Making our way up town, walking fast. Thanks to that 10% movement speed pylon. I always see these lamps and think they're chest glows. So it's, it kind of throws me off and stop, but they most certainly are not. Making my way downtown. Oh, Survivor in danger. Running at ya. Survivor in danger. Ah, I get it. 
Hey, good save. Thanks again for your help. See you soon. Double jump. Here they come. Our fort's in danger. Belay and flip. With smoke screen on, you want a melee weapon or a rocket launcher. It doesn't matter. If you really wanted to, you could wipe out the second wave here, put a turret down, and then just kind of walk away. If you're high enough level. If you're not, it won't always work. Anything to cut down on time, right? Oh, you make it look easy. Can't believe it. You're the best. Oh, I still need to pick up a piece of blue left over here. There seems to be a lot of RV survivors on this one. I don't know why. Well, I mean, incoming. Watch out! Uh, just general survivors that are on cars, I should say. I consider these ones difficult because they take they take a minute just for all the enemies to spawn in. I think. Oh, this guy's firing from a distance. Check out my sword. Watch your eyes. Guy firing at me the entire time. Get that nice curve in there. Put these guys down a bit. Good. We're gonna need a bigger base. Yep. Bigger bases never help. Never hurt. Just ask my solo version of Twine Peak Storm Shield defense. This is the secret cave. Nope, oh, it's higher. She blows. Ah, finally found a medkit survivor. And see, now that we're coming around, we got it all. Uh, let's take her back into the electric field. Yeah, I probably should use my adrenaline rush there, but I wanted to save it because you, if you use your adrenaline rush on survivors, it heals them. Apparently, that wasn't a well known thing, but uh, it's a thing you could do. If you have adrenaline rush, you use it, it has that area of effect heal, it heals the survivors. More humans. Your corpses. Win-win. See, now that we got the outside done, we could start moving in, in in kind of like a square version. And uh, it won't take as nearly as long. Cool. And do well hitting that wall. I was getting worried. Ah, of course it'd be over there. Check your map for the location of the med kit. You always want to kind of circle around to places that you haven't hit yet. Before going the all the way back. You don't want to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Because that'll that'll mess with your pathing. And that'll mess that'll give you overall poor timing on it. Yeah, I know there's a shot right there. I don't think I'll be able to kill these guys before they kill me, but I'll give it a shot. I mean, I could ignore enemies a little bit more than most people can. So I'm not too worried about little guys like that. 
And they're not little per se, they're annoying as hell. All hell. To, uh, to deal with them, but they're manageable in a sense. Goodness. The cactus, guys, the cactus. Five minutes left. Spinning dead. As you'll notice, I use the cloak star in mine. <laughs> oh, you make it look easy. Needs die. Thank you. Uh, yep. So now that we've gone to the left a little bit more, we can go down to the bottom now. Grab the birthday cakes. Another car survivor? You see what I mean, guys? This is horrendous. Explore all brown spots on the map, dark spots on the map, whatever you want to call them. Oh, that's a chest. Oh, that's another chest. That's a mimic, actually. Oh, that's a fake mimic, because for some reason Epic likes to put mimics by the By places where they can't actually be open, so in the city zone they'll put them by under underneath some metal stairs, and then in obviously right here they put it underneath a cliff where it doesn't have enough room to expand or spawn in itself, so it just disappears. It's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, normally I would search that cave that it was on top of, but because we're a little bit strapped for time, and God forbid I get another car survivor. So got another two survivors to save. Unless, of course, there isn't another survivor. Sometimes they only put 14 in there. Get the bonus 8 instead of the bonus 9. Get some extra fire zombie kills. And you really want to be careful of your pathing here. You want to get all the way around that you're covering what you didn't cover when you were going outside of the map. You want a little bit of overlap. Oh, jeez. Don't ask me to swing a sword, guys. Now that I've done that, I can uh, go explore a cave. Why not do some resourcing? Very giant rock around. Here's a giant rock around. Two minutes before I have to. I don't know if you guys up. remember the first quest in Candy Valley, but or at least the first new Stay quest, I should say, where it showed you all the landmarks. But sometimes on these landmarks, you could find super chests. Ah, oh, I hate those freaking things. Super chests are things you want to look for, if possible. I'm gonna see if I can't find that uh, that cave again. Pretty bad with landmarks sometimes. Pretty sure it's up here. And then I gotta drop down. Yeah, he's. Uh, I've lost it. Oh, there it is. I'm going to put on my obliterator because sometimes things are behind walls. I don't really care much about a level 1 chest even in a 100 zone. But, of course, I'm at the bottom of a well, so it doesn't really matter now. Again, you got the nin ninja for the nice mobility. 
Nice overall. Got some milk for some active power cells. Probably should check the town instead. Sometimes the town has it. Sometimes these giant rocks have it. I probably won't make it up here in time. No. It's okay, but we did it, guys. We fully soloed a level 100 rescue the survivors mission. Very easy to do because I did it. We get the level 4 chest. Because I got the level 4 chest, I am now going to get. Plus 30% experience. If I still had commander levels to get, I would get plus 30% commander XP as well. There's really no reason not to get all the survivors. They're in your way. You're going to want to check the outside of the map anyways for any kind of ore. You know you're going to get bright core. Obviously you get 135 survivors, lots of gold. Storm shards was the reward this time. Lots of Hero XP. When you go outside the map, you'll get a lot of mist monster kills. You'll get a lot of ore. You'll get uh, a lot of a lot of elemental kills. Even you know there's there's a lot to do. Obviously my uh, my Candy Valley quest line isn't too progressed here, but uh, with me. But uh, thank you for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed me soloing the Rescue of the Survivors mission.